question from another 10 percenter, another Magna Cita. And it seems to be a serious question. I always read a couple of lines first before I uh, answer a question, just to make sure it's something that I'm interested in answering, if it's something I haven't answered already. So let's get into this. She says, hi, Tyrone. I've been watching your channel for a while now, and I recently subscribed. I like you should have subscribed a long time ago, woman. Strike one. Okay. So uh, I really like your vid videos and how you tell stories from your own life. To make a long story short, I broke up with my ex-fiance about a year ago because he got diagnosed with a chronic crippling illness without a cure. We were in a long distance relationship. It was also intercultural. And I realized I could not give him the support and care that his family could. Because of this situation, I am now single and almost 30 years old. I tried to date during our period of no contact, but quickly came to the conclusion that because I don't feel properly healed from what happened, dating was pointless. Okay, I understand. Sometimes you need time by yourself to find yourself in a new direction. Take all that time you need because rebounding is bullshit. Rebound relationships really don't work that well, okay? Um, and you really don't end up getting what you really wanted. You just get end up getting a band-aid of a person. Even when you um, meet someone, like sometimes people will say, okay, I'm just going to stay by myself. But what they'll do is like two weeks after breaking up with someone, they'll meet someone else and hold them in their pocket as their next person to date. Now, you're still latching on to that person, still. So you have to be very careful of where your feelings are after a breakup before you start dating, you know? So uh, let's keep moving here. I realized that I couldn't form a relationship with someone new, even if they were the man of my dreams. I found a way around that, but um, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, like, you know, like if I, I ran into a woman that was like, just like, ooh, well, I mean, you know, I might even, I might not even follow my own advice, you know, but that's cool that you're able to do that. And I, I get what you mean on a serious note. So it says, I know it could take a very long time to recover from this, which is true. It is so hard because I still love my ex so much and I wanted to start out start our life together so badly right um it can be hard to start over and sometimes you need to take some time like i said to find yourself let's see i also feel torn because i feel a lot of negative stigma most of my female friends co-workers and classmates are married and i feel like my chances of attracting the kind of guy that i would like to marry will only get harder as i get older that's an old wives tale they tell you, yo, and you girl, you know, girl, you gotta get married in your early tw in your twenties, and oh no, your chances of meeting. No, it's not true. It's only true because you believe it. Remember that, okay? You, you, you understand? Henry Ford once said, "Whether you believe um, you can or you believe you can't, it, you're right." Okay, and he was right. It's true. It's all belief in yourself. There's plenty of people that finally find someone in their 30s or in their 40s in their 50s in their 60s and they live the rest of their life completely happy i understand you you want to find someone now but that part right there is really kind of holding you back and it's your fear that's totally hindering you right now so let me keep going here because it, it keeps going um it it doesn't help either that i'm often seen as a as mature for my age already and people have told me that they thought I was much older than I am. What do you think about dating a, a woman? What, what do you think about dating as a woman over 30? Uh, is it really as bad as I'm afraid as it's going to be? Thank you for your help. No. Hell no. Hell no. I've seen, let me tell you something. Okay. Since I've been a single. I've seen plenty of hot women that's over their 30s, doing their thing, dating, everything, happy. Some of them are getting married now. You know, some of them are getting engaged. You know, don't, don't worry about it. It's all in your damn head. 
It is all in your head. Don't even worry about this. I answered most of the questions as I went through this, okay? So, um, like I always tell, for fear and anxiety, tapping.com, learn EFT. There's videos on YouTube about EFT. Do that to get rid of your anxiety and fear about being a woman in her 30s and dating. Once those bad negative feelings are gone, you can only focus on the positive feelings about being single and dating. That is Finding the man of your dreams, visualize him, know every quality he's going to have that's going to be able to make you happy, and he will eventually come as long as you believe he will come. Oh, I hope I have helped you, my dear. Woman subscribers. Woo!